<laughs> oh fuck. Uh, what's up guys, Lama5 here and welcome to my little pony French Miss Magic Blind readings with a blunderbolt. Um this is actually a post reading intro because Skype Recorder is very evil. It uh <laughs> it killed out the intro that me, uh Otis and Otis Cat Otis Cat say hi. And uh and the Legend of Delza, uh, you can see us right here, right now. But unfortunately, it cannot the intro and the fairly odd parents thing we did. But don't worry, but we're doing that next week. Uh, hopefully, if the recording actually does happen. Uh, and the only thing, other thing, it really cannot was the actual reading, reading. I mean, the uh, <laughs> the choices. When I say, well, actually, I'll do that right now because I got because I actually do write them down somewhere. Uh, what do I? Ah, oh, there it is. So I'm just gonna read this off now to you guys. I I usually say something like, oh wait, I need to say what happens because this is a post edit. So if you haven't seen the show before, what happens is I take a random script from My Little Pony, Friendship Miss Magic, season one, and then with our bright voices and impressions, we take on various roles. Uh, this time was retro, so we chose each other's roles. Um, during this reading, I chose uh, Delza's roles, Delza chose Otis Cat's roles, and Otis Cat chose my roles. Uh, was that right, Rodis? Is that what happened? Or um, that sounded about right, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, mm. without further ado, I'm going to read off the roles for Act 1, and then I'm going to leave you to the actual recording. Oh, at least that wasn't telling for you. So, for, <laughs> for Sweetie Belle, we have Duke Nukem by Delza. For Scootaloo, we got Otis Cat doing Bubbles. For Apple Bloom, I'll be doing Phineas from Phineas and Ferb. For Applejack, we got Delza doing Heavy from Team Fortress 2. For the Random Stallion, we got Otis Cat doing Dee Dee from Dexter's Laboratory. For Philly Applejack, I'll be doing The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. For the Ant, we got Delza doing Shining Armor. For the Uncle, we got Otis Cat doing Piggy Pie. For the Guest Number 1, I'll be doing Cleveland. For Guest Number 2, we got Delza doing Snagglepuss. For the Random Mare, we got Otis Cat doing Blaze the Cat. Uh, for Fluttershy, I'll be doing Dr. Doofenshmirtz. For... Colt Billy, we got Stelza doing Captain Brannigan. For Colt Hoops, we got Otis Cat doing Luna. And finally, for Philly Rainbow Dash, I'll be doing Current the Frog. So, without further ado, enjoy Act 1. Are you sure about this, Scootalo? I've never heard of a pony ziplining before. Neither have I! But Spike told me it was awesome! See anything? Tree sap and pine needles, but no cutie mark. Plan B? Yeah! You know where we can find a cannon at this hour? It's no use. No matter what we try, we always end up without our cutie marks. And surprisingly often covered in tree sap. Hmm, maybe we should do something less dangerous. Like pillow testing or flower sniffing. This town is full of ponies who have their cutie marks. Why don't we ask them how they did it? That's a great, safe idea. Yeah, and we can start with the coolest pony in Ponyville. Applejack. Rarity. Come on, guys, I said cool. You know who I'm talking about. She's fast, she's tough, she's not afraid of anything. Pinkie Pie? Pie? No, the greatest flyer ever to come out of Cloudsdale. Fluttershy? Rainbow Dash! Oh, yeah, that makes much more sense. Of course. Let's do it! Let's find out how Rainbow Dash on her cutie mark! Yeah! yeah. My little pony, my little pony, ah, my little pony, and he's just one of our friends, he's guilty, my little pony, so you won't stand right with me, the convention does love you far, very little strong, turn kind of sneezing, magic makes it ugly, my little pony, do you know you're my little best friend? Get back here, you thieving varmints! Thieving what now? <laughs> Apple Bloom? Hey, sis. How'd you get your cutie mark? I never told you that story. Hey! I thought we were gonna ask Rainbow Dash! We need all the help we can get. 
Uh, fine. Why, Sue, I was just a little feely, even littler than y'all. I didn't want to spend my life on the muddy old apple farm. I wanted to live this sophisticated life, like my aunt or Uncle Orange. So I went out to try my luck in the big city. Manhattan, the most cosmopolitan city in all of Equestria. Hi, I didn't want you, Rube. I knew I'd find out who I was meant to be in Manhattan. And Orange, Uncle Orange. Thank y'all so much for letting me stay. Y'all, isn't she just the living end? Don't worry, we'll have you acting like a true manhattan -y in no time. And how you find a girl on Manhattan? Oh, it's simply divine. Very well said, my dear. Oh, I must admit, the city noise took some getting used to. Where I'm from, nights are so quiet, you seldom hear a peep until the roosters wake you. Uh, what? I say, my dear, what in the world's a rooster? What's he talking about? What do I say? I don't want to look a fool. Dinner is served. Thank goodness. Being a city pony is hard work. I am so hungry, I could eat a... cock a doodle -doo. I wonder what Granny Smith and Big Macintosh are up to. I bet they're apple-bucking their way through the red delicious trees. Oh, what I wouldn't give for just one bite. I never felt so homesick in all my days as I did right then. It was amazing. A rainbow pointing right back to home. In that moment, it all became clear. I knew right then just who I was supposed to be. That's when this here happened. I've been happily working the farm ever since. There they are. Get back here, you thieving varmint! Oh, that was such a sweet story. Sweet? Try sappy. Uh, come on, we've got to find Rainbow Dash and hit a clearly get a cutie mark. All right, little ones, this way, this way. You really should be more careful. Some pony could get hurt. Why are you in such a hurry anyway? We're trying to find Rainbow Dash so we can hear how she earned her cutie mark. Oh, does that would be interesting. You know, I wouldn't have gotten my cutie mark if it wasn't for her. Rainbow Dash? Really? Oh, yes. It all started at Summer Flight Camp. You'd never guess, but when I was little, I was very shy. And a very weak flyer. Nice going, Klutz and Shy. They ought to ground you permanently. Ha! Huh, my baby brother can fly better than you! It was the most humiliating moment of my life. And then, out of nowhere! Hey, leave her alone! Ooh, what are you gonna do, Rainbow Crash? Keep making fun of her and find out. You think you're such a big shot? Why don't you prove it? What do you have in mind? You're going down! In history, maybe! See you boys at the finish line!
Oh, right, that's the end of Act 1. We didn't say the character names there, but really, who cares? So, uh, we're going to rearrange the impressions a little bit here and the roles, and we'll be right back with you. So, until then, impressions. All right, we're back. So, for Philly Fluttershy, we got Delta doing Solid Snake. For Fluttershy, we got Otis doing Rarity. For Scootaloo, I'll be doing my version of Sonic the Hedgehog. For Sweetie Belle, we got Delta doing the Engineer from Team Fortress 2. For Rarity, we got Otis Cat doing Princess Cadence. For the teacher, I'll be doing Shaggy from Scooby Doo. For Philly Rarity, we got Delta doing Sh Hank Hill. For Twilight, we got Otis doing Applejack. And finally, for the Examiner, I'll be doing Shadow the Hedgehog. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Huh? I had never seen such beautiful creatures. Butterflies didn't fly as high as my cloud home. It had never been near the ground before. What is this place filled with so many wonders? <coughs> Casting its spell that I am now under. Squirrels in the trees and the cute little bunnies, delicious birds flying free, and the bees with their honey, honey. <laughs> oh, what a magical place, and I owe it all to the Pegasus race. If I knew the ground I so much of its leave, I'd have come here sooner and never leave. Oh, I love everything. <laughs> It's okay. You can come out now. Everything's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. Somehow, I have the ability to communicate with the animals on a different level. Wait, wait, wait! What happened to Rainbow Dash? What about the race? Oh, well, I, I wasn't there, so I don't really know what happened. Come on, Crusaders! We gotta find her! Besides, I can't take any more singing! Maybe my sister knows where she is. Bye, Fluttershy! Bye, girls! How did we get roped into this? <sighs> we'll never hear of Rainbow Dash's story! Are you girls still obsessing over your cutie marks? Of course. Most of the fillies at school already have theirs. Mmm, I know how you feel. For the longest time, I couldn't figure out why I didn't have mine. Like, well done, Rarity! Your costumes are very nice! <laughs> nice? They need to be spectacular. And your performance, it's tomorrow. <laughs> I tried every trick I could think of, but nothing seemed to work. The costumes just weren't right, and the play opened that night. Maybe I'm not meant to be a fashionista after all. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. I had no idea where my horn was taking me. But unicorn magic doesn't happen without a reason. I knew this had to do with my love of fashion, and maybe even my cutie mark. I knew this was... MY DESTINY! Whoa! A rock? That's my destiny? What is your problem? God dang it, horn! I followed you all the way out here for a rock? Dumb rock? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, please name.
Mamby Pamby stories aren't getting us any closer to Raccoonie Marks. They're all about finding who you really are and boring stuff like that. Yes, Scootaloo, that's exactly- Come on, girls! We need action! We need Rainbow Dash! Come on! As young Billy and Canterlot, I always wanted to go to the Summer Sun Celebration, where the Princess Celestia raises the sun, and I saw the most amazing, most wonderful thing I've ever seen. myself into learning everything I could about magic. <gasps> My parents decided to enroll me in Princess Celestia's School for Gifted Unicorns. It was a dream come true! Except for one thing. I had to pass an entrance exam. Well, Miss Sparkle. <laughs> oh, that's the end of it too, so... We're gonna switch the rolls again one more time, and then we'll be right back with you with more impressions. So, until then, well, impressions! Alright, we're back with the longest list ever done on the Blunderbolt! So, for the Examiner, we got Otis Cat doing Bubbles. For Twilight Sparkle, I was doing Elmo. For Philly Twilight, we got Delza doing Scalver Team Portraits 2. For Princess Celestia, we got Otis Cat doing Pinkie Pie. For Apple Bloom, I was doing Luigi. For Sweetie Belle, we got Delza doing The Sniper. For Team Portraits 2, for Scootaloo, we got Otis Cat doing Princess Cadence. For Delivery Stallion, I was doing Mickey Mouse. For Pinkie Pie, we got Delza doing Peter Griffin. For Mr. Pie, we got Otis Cat doing Applejack. For Mrs. Pie, I was doing Cookie Monster. For Philly Pinkie Pie, we got Delza doing Stewie Griffin. For Rainbow Dash, we got Otis Cat doing Apple Bloom. For Philly Rainbow Dash, I was doing Elmer for College Hoops, we got Delta doing Wheatley. For Fluttershy, we got Otis doing Blaze. For Applejack, I'll be doing Donald Duck. For Rarity, we got Delta doing Zarberg. And finally, we got Spike doing Luna. You know who she is. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Well, Miss Elmo? <coughs> I'm sorry I wasted your time. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to- You have a very special gift! I don't think I've ever come across a unicorn with your raw abilities! Huh? But you need to learn to tame these abilities through focused study! Huh? Elmo, I'd like to make you my own personal protege here at the school! Huh? Well... <laughs> yes! One other thing, Elmo! More? My cutie mark! Yes, 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 Okay, okay. You're happy for your twilight? Yeah, thrilled. Let's get out of here while we still can. Ha ha! 
Are you okay? Um, yes. Oh, why don't we ever smash into Rainbow Dash? You're looking for Rainbow Dash? If I was her, I'd be a sugar cube corner, of course. If I was anybody, I'd be a sugar cube corner. Yeah. Hey, I have an idea. Want to go to Sugar Cube Corner? Well, we're sort of looking for Rainbow Dash, so we can hear how she got a cutie mark. Cutie mark? Come with me and I'll tell you how I got mine. <sighs> Why not? All right. My sisters and I were raised on a rack farm outside of Ponyville. We spent our days working in the fields. There was no talking. There was no smiling. <sighs> there was only racks. We were in the south field, preparing to rotate the grass to east field. Yeah. When all of a sudden... Boom. I never felt joy like that before. I felt so good. I, I just wanted to keep smiling forever. And I wanted everyone I knew to smile, too. But rainbows don't come al along that often. I wondered... How else could I create some smiles? We better harvest the rocks from the south field. Pigamina Diane Pai, is that you? Mom, I need you and Dad and the sisters to come in here quick. Surprise! You like it? It's called a party! <laughs> oh, you don't like it. <laughs> you like it! I'm so happy! And that's how Equestria was made. What? huh Look, we're the here! Maybe on the way home I can tell you the story of how I got my cutie mark. It's a gem. <laughs> oh, come on, she's just being pinky Pie. Uh... Rainbow Dash, you're here! I hear you're looking for my cutie mark story! Ugh, you have no idea what I've been through today to hear that story. It all happened during the race at flight camp, where I stood alone against all odds to defend Fluttershy's honor. that before and that freedom was unlike anything I've ever felt. The speed, the adrenaline, the wind in my mane. I liked it. A lot. Whoa. Later, Rainbow Cross. Hey. Turns out the only thing I like more than blind fast was <laughs> winning. People thought that the Sonic Rainbow was just an old mayor's tale. But that day, the day I discovered racing, I proved that the legends were true. I made the impossible happen! <laughs> and that, little ones, is how you learn a cutie mark. Whoa! Whoa. Wait a second, I heard that explosion, and I saw the rainbow, too. Rainbow Dash, if you hadn't scared the animals, I never would have learned I could communicate with them, and got my cutie mark. I heard that, Boom. And right afterwards, there was this amazing rainbow that taught me to smile. Yeah. But I got my cutie mark. That's your rainbow. There was an explosion. I could never explain when I got my cutie mark. Oi vey. This is uncanny! If that explosion didn't happen when it did, Elmo would have blown his entrance exam! Rainbow Dash, I think you'll help me or my cutie mark too! 
We all owe our cutie marks to you. Nah. Do you realize what this means? All of us had a special connection before before we even met. We've been BFFs forever. We don't even know it, eh? Aww. Aww. Ew! Give me a break. Come on, Crusaders. Maybe we just need to try ziplining again. <sighs> hey, how about a song? Oh, yeah! Definitely! No! Dear Princess Celestia, today Elmo learned something amazing! Every pony everywhere has a special magical connection with her friends! Maybe even before she's met them! If you're feeling lonely and you're still searching for your true friends, just look up in the sky! Who knows? Maybe you and your future best friends are all looking at the same rainbow! Gross! When did you get so cheesy? Just right it, Spike! Oh! Right, that's the end of the reading. I love doing ah! But anyway, that was this week's reading with our newest members, Otis, Cat, and Delza. Everyone else was busy or couldn't be asked or all the stuff. So, <laughs> so first, vote for the impressions of the week before we leave. So, first, <laughs> first off, uh, any mini money mo, catch a tiger by stone, let it go, any mini money mo. Delza, who was your favorite impression this week? My favorite impression was Donald Duck. Man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like uh, there was so many freaking good ones. I mean, Delta's Duke Nukem was banging the sniper, but it was also Eldest Cat's Pinkie Pie and her Luna and her. Oh. Oh. Dude. Um, you know, I'll, I'll give it to Delta because that was the best Duke Nukem ever. Alright, Eldest Cat, uh -huh. who's your vote go to? Um, Stewie Griffin. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the, the impressionist of the week is Dolza. Woo! All right. Yeah, kill me. Good job. Blaze oh, the yeah. cat is very disapproving. <laughs> All right. So, anything else you guys want to say before we end this episode? Oscar is best cat. Remember, kids, don't do drugs. That's <laughs> no good. All right. So I this. You Sonic! You can't tell me what to do! Until yes, next time, the Wonderball signing off. Thank you guys for watching this part, I mean this episode, so this has been... Otis! Delza! And me, Lomalfi! Thank you guys for watching the Wonderball's Blind Readings! We'll see you next week. Ta-ta! Bye-bye. Bye! That's no good! Why are you over? Why are you? Yeah. My, My baby, baby brother can do better than you. Why are you both saying at the same time? No, I saw I saw a cult again, and I didn't read really <laughs> about the line. But I'm sick. Yeah, just, just start over. Sorry. Like Scoob, watch out! That was really good. <laughs> you didn't sound convinced. You're like, yeah, that was really good. No, I really did like it. It was really good. Like grouping, I'm so high I can't feel my eight broken bones! <laughs> <laughs> what is this place? No, Where it's Billy Fluttershy. It's Billy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Solid Snake, it's gotta sing! <laughs> it's like for that for that millisecond of time, I'm like, wow, I got a good voice. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, wow, that was a blow. I was like, wait, that's all it is. If that was actually on key, I'd put the background music there. Whoa! A rock? That's my destiny? <laughs> what is your problem, Horn? God dang it, I Horn! You all the way <laughs> out here for rock. And Philly Sonic's Pinkie Pie. Sonic's name speeds my game! Sonic's name speeds my game! Hey, Delta! Her Sonic voices are really similar, huh? Alright! Cool! Kids, there's nothing wrong with you <laughs> someone you like. 
But if someone tries to touch you in a place or way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. Every year, one of these kids goes in the dryer. Isn't that interesting? Gee, Brain, what are we doing tonight? Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take Try over to the take world. Take over the world. The yes. Pinky and the Brain. The Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, the other insane. A laboratory mice. The genes have been spiced. The Pinky is Pinky and the Brain, 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 Brain. Before this night is done, the plan will be unfurled by the dawning of the sun. They'll take over the world, the Pinky and the Brain. I'm Apple Bloom of the Kitty Mark Crusaders. Uh, Apple Bloom, you get back back to your room right now. Me and your sister Apple Bucking. It's dangerous out here. I don't wanna! <laughs> Hank is like the best, like, Apple Farmer type voice. Dang it, Apple Bloom, I told you to stay in your room. <laughs> God dang it, Apple Bloom. Oh, God dang it, Bobby! I mean, Apple Bloom. <laughs> I never, I never watched the King of the Hill, but there's just one snippet I remember where just where uh, Hank Hill is talking about like clean burning fuels and some some person just, are you gay? What? What? No, I sell propane. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. <laughs> All right, so I sell oh. apples and apple accessories. I sell apples and apple accessories. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, was that was that good? <laughs> oh, was that good? Well, I mean, you know, it, 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 it was hard to understand him in his show, so I thought that was perfect. Because I was kind of going, man, yeah, I was supposed to be going. <laughs> it's fine. You can you can put in captions. <laughs> Yeah, let me just give it again. Yo, wait, let's get better. Alright, let's start. Wait, you ready? I'm a would have been blown by 